fellow Guyanese, as promised, I would like to give an update from the Office of the President on the horrific tragedy in which we have lost 19 of our girls at a secondary school dorm in Madeleine. As I said yesterday, a number of the bodies were born beyond recognition. As such, we brought in, with the help of Barbados, a specialized team to help us with the DNA sampling. That team arrived sometime around mid-morning to lunch. The team is in the process of collecting all samples from the remains and from the parents, after which those samples will be packaged and transport sometime tomorrow to Mount Sinai. Samples will have to be flown to Mount Sinai Labs in New York. We had to use the Mount Sinai Labs in New York because this lab provides the shortest return time in terms of the results. The matching results is expected to return by Friday the 26th. That is the update in relation to the DNA sampling and identification of the remains that were born beyond recognition. In relation to the health status of our beautiful girls at the various hospitals, at Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation we have three of those girls in ICU, two of whom are deemed critical. Two in the high dependency unit of the HDU, they're considered stable and improving. We have four in the open ward and they're improving. At the Madhya Hospital, we have offered to bring all the remaining girls to Georgetown, even those who were discharged, so that we can have a second review and ensure that everything is okay. Eight additional girls were therefore brought out to Georgetown for the second review and the offer to bring the other remaining girls for a second assessment is also there and we are hoping that those girls will also be brought out. A full team of psychiatrists, psychological counselors and social workers have been assembled <coughs> to provide counseling for all the students, their families, teachers, members of the community from which they came from. We have four teams working every day out of Madia and we're going to ensure that these teams remain in place at least for the next three months. We have also teams at the Kanuku Hotel where we have family members and parents of those in hospital and those who came out to identify the bodies of their children. We have a high-level 
team of doctors, additional doctors, that will be posted to Madhya for the next three months to provide specialized care and to support their colleagues there in the work they are doing. I want to pause here to recognize the tremendous work of the medical staff, both in Madhya and at Georgetown. Again, the pilots, the team from the Ministry of Education, the Joint Services, the ministers, and all those who are working and supported this mission. We are tremendously grateful to you. As I said before, full and unconditional support will be given to every single family and every single child affected. This support is not only medical, immediate financial, transportation, accommodation, meals. It will go far beyond this. Whilst we appreciate and welcome all the offer for support, I want to assure all the families, and all Guyanese, that the government will fully support all these families and these children. We will provide all that is necessary in support of these families and children at this time. As reported in some section of the media, yes, indeed, some family members requested financial compensation. And as I said yesterday to those families, that this too will be dealt with as we move from the immediate task that is at hand now. So there is absolutely no need for anyone to make this an issue because this is also part of what the family raised and part of which the government will respond to. The fire service and police will issue subsequent update to this one on their investigation as to where they are. The National Night of Vigil will be held tonight at the Dumanayan. I encourage all to participate in this as we reflect in love, prayers, and good thoughts on the lives of these children and the pain and hardship of their families at this time. Tomorrow, there will be a flower laying ceremony at Madhya Hostel where this incident occurred and we lost so many of our beautiful souls. This flowering ceremony will also be attended by ambassadors, honorary councils, and high commissioners stationed in Guyana. Our independence celebration will now take the form of a night of remembrance and prayer and prayers in memory of our children. These independents will now be dedicated through prayer and remembrance to these, our beautiful children of God. I also want to express our gratitude as a people and as a country and from the families for more than 30 heads of state who would have sent message, call, or letters at this time, and the more than 10 international organizations who express their love, thoughts, and support to the families, people of our country, and our country at this time. We have assigned cabinet members 
for every single family member to give direct support and to ensure that they are offered all that we can offer in this tremendous power of their need. The first funeral will take place tomorrow in Karasparo, and that is sending home of Sabrina John. I continue to pray that the mercy, love, patience of God be with all these families and be with us as a nation. I pray that we be strengthened in faith and that the love and healing nature of God be with those who are still hospitalized as together as one Guyanese family we support each other more so we support these children and their families at this time thank you and may God bless you